magical folk welcome back to my channel i hope you're all keeping safe and well today i have a diy for you it has been a little while since we've done a diy so i was really really excited to do something a little bit different and with spooky season coming up i wanted to make some really good halloweeny kind of harry potter items so i decided to do this particular diy because it's something that's very close to my heart i haven't actually tried it yet but it's something that i'm dying to try and also haven't got one of these for my shelf so it was kind of like a personal interest thing that I wanted to make something that would be able to go up on my shelf and I could display so yeah I was really really excited to do it so if you would like to see what DIY I'm creating today for you then do carry on watching don't forget guys if you are new and you haven't done already then please hit the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community don't forget to turn the notification bells on as well to be notified every time I upload and you can always check me out on my social media Okay, so I'm really excited to show you what it is that I'm gonna be making today. I have made one very quickly already because I wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing. I mapped it out because I was trying to do something else. I might not reveal it just yet because I might still make it, but it's kind of gone wrong. I have never made one of these before, so I thought to myself, I'll give it a practice run, make sure I know what I'm doing with it before I completely muck it all up on camera and then cry. So I thought I'd give it like a test run. Well, it's a good job I did because the test run went awful. And yeah, I was very, very sad. But at the same time, I thought, you know what? I'll reassess it. I'll take some time and sort of work it out and we'll actually be able to do this one maybe at a later date. But this one that I've made turned out very, very well. I'm looking at it as we speak. I'm very, very proud of it. It looks awesome. Um, but I did want to kind of just do another dry run just to make sure that I did actually not muck this one up and it came out all right. So I will show you what I have made. So we are making a pumpkin juice bottle today. How cool does that look on camera? It looks really cool. I absolutely adore how this turned out. And I've got all the ingredients here. Ingredients? All the items here to be able to show you how to make your very own. This one is not staying with me, sadly for me, but sort of great for them. I'm actually sending this to my patron, Alas Earwax, as a absolutely major, major thank you for being my very first patron and supporting my channel. It means so, so much to me. So this one will be going out to you and I will be making another one with the items that I have beside me. So I'll show you quickly what you need. So you're gonna need yourself an empty bottle and you're also gonna need the bottle cap. So this is obviously a J2O bottle, other beverages are available. So yeah, I basically just drank the J2O, cleaned and took all the label off, cleaned the bottle, and I saved the cap, and I'm gonna be able to glue that back on later on. Uh, I also needed something orange to fill the bottle up. So I was looking through my local supermarché the other day, and I spotted this fairy liquid or scary liquid, which is bright, bright orange. So this was absolutely perfect. I also need some glue, some green paint, some scissors, a couple paint brushes, a glue gun, and for the very top of the bottle, I ordered these really, really cool little pumpkins off of eBay. So yeah, these are super cute. And yeah, they look absolutely amazing when you stick them on top of the bottle. So yeah, that's everything you need. And I will show you how I make it. Okay, so something I didn't show you a minute ago was I designed the label for this particular bottle on Canva, which is an app that I have on my iPhone. So these are the labels that I'm gonna be sticking to my bottle. As you can see, I printed off some different sizes just to make sure the ones fit the bottle well. I did ask my husband to print this off for me, but in true man fashion, if you want something done, women, do it yourself, because this is the mess that my husband made. When I asked him to print off this very document here, all I did was press the print button, this is what happens. This is what happens when men press the print button. Useless. So anyway, the first thing I'm gonna do is fill up my bottle with the fairy liquid. It's very, very simple. You literally just pour it on in. So fairy liquid, and you're literally just going to pour it on in. This stuff smells amazing as well. It's like orange scented and it's so good. It smells amazing. So I'm not filling it all the way to the top. I'm kind of just filling it up just to the start of the neck of the bottle. And yeah, I think that looks really, really cool. 
Next thing I'm going to do is cut out my labels. So like I said, I double checked which size fits better. So I'm going to go for the slightly smaller label on this one, but the larger one on this one. And I'm going to stick them on the top half and the bottom half of the bottle. So using that one there and then this larger one here. Just gonna make sure they do fit okay. Obviously I'm gonna cut around it, but I just kinda wanna make sure that I have picked the right ones, which I look like I have. Yep, perfect. So that's how that one's gonna go. And then that one is gonna go on the front. And yeah, so all I need to do now is cut around these and stick them to my bottle using my glue and my paintbrush. Now the way I designed this label was so it has some like leafy bits hanging off the bottom, which I really, really loved. But yeah, cutting these out is a little bit fiddly. So be warned if you're gonna do something along those lines because yeah, this is a pain in the butt. <laughs> okay, so I have now cut out both of my little labels to go onto my bottle. I'm just gonna scooch away all the excess stuff that we had. So using just an old bit of paper, an old box or something, you want to use the glue onto the back of the label. And you want to get a really nice thin even layer over the entire surface especially with these smaller parts because you really want those to stick down good so you want to really really smother it on a nice thin even layer okay so obviously something has to go wrong every single time i do a diy everything goes wrong when i start filming so as you can see the label kind of um tore a little bit on here so i'm not gonna be able to use this one now i'm gonna have to go with the larger one so i've got the two larger of the labels uh, that i'm gonna put onto my bottle i'm gonna use the back of this paper to glue it down so what i'm gonna do is with a little bit of glue you can just use pva glue if you want to um, I'm just going to put a nice, thin, even layer of the glue onto the back. I want to make sure that the little tiny bits on the bottom, where obviously the overlay is, I want to make sure they are fully covered because they can be a little bit stubborn when you're trying to glue those ones down. So once you've got that covered, carefully pick it up and figure out the best placement on your bottle. So I'm going to put it just on here, just above. There we go. There we are. Okay, so I've just stuck that down, just pressing the sides just to make sure everything stays down properly. I might just put a tiny, tiny bit of glue in there because it's not quite sticking down. Perfect, so that is the label on the front. So now I'm gonna do the same with the one that goes on the neck of the bottle. And I want to make sure I've lined these up as best I can so it kind of does look nice and uniform on the front. And I'm just wrapping it around the bottle and pushing it down into place. Perfect. Okay, so those are our labels on the bottle. I love how this looks, I really, really do. Okay, what I like to do afterwards as well, just to kind of get a really glossy finish to the labels, is just put a very thin layer again of the same glue right over the top. Try not to get it onto the actual glass itself because it can look a little bit messy if you do it that way. But if you just kind of paint a really thin and nice even layer over the front of the actual label, it kind of just gives it a nice glossy finish.
Okay, so when you're done with that, it'll look a little something like that. Obviously, it's still got a little bit of a tinge of the glue on there. Uh, so once it dries, it dries completely clear and you'll have a very nice and a little bit glossy label. Okay, so for this next bit, I had to kind of bring you into the kitchen because I didn't have a plug near enough for me for my glue gun. So my glue gun is warming up and all I want to do, just to make sure that this, if it does topple over, that it's not going to leak, I'm going to put a little layer of glue into the bottle cap, just on the rounds on the edges. So when I pop it on top, it kind of sticks and it will stay put. So I'm just going to quickly do that now. There we go. And then I'm just going to plonk that straight on top and push that down. There we go. So that now, in theory, <laughs> should not leak. That should be stuck quite tight and obviously the glue should hold all the liquid inside the bottle, even if this was to move around a little bit. Next is the fun bit, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna kind of create like a drippy wax seal going down the bottle. Not too much, just a little bit, just to have something for the pumpkin to sit on on the top. So what I'm going to do is try and make, like I said, some drippy lines down here and then I'm going to paint them green afterwards. Okay, so my glue gun ran out of glue. <laughs> so I had to go and buy some, hence now why it's dark and I'm having to do the top again for you guys. So I have now got plenty of glue in the glue gun, although it just fell out. <laughs> so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the top of the bottle and kind of let it drip down a little bit on each of the sides just to kind of get it to look like hot drippy wax. Right now I'm definitely not trying to like blow my own trumpet or anything because I'm not saying I'm like the best at this but there is a little bit of skill required when doing something like this. So you want to have it just over the edge and then you want to press down with your glue gun and kind of just let it build up and then drip down. Because I'm trying to show you I'm not doing it right. <laughs> Typical! So you literally just let it hang over, push your glue gun, and then just keep pushing it and let the glue just pour out. You can always give it like a little gentle nudge with the glue gun and just push it down. And then it will start to drippy down the bottle. You can give it a little bit of a tap as well, because sometimes that helps the gravity. Ooh, what's going on there? And then you just go around the rest of the bottle, pretty much doing the exact same. You can get some longer bits, you can have some shorter bits. And just keep running the glue over the edge and down the bottle. You always get these little stringy things. Blech. We go and then once you finish all the drippy parts you just want a nice big blob on the top and then you want to very quickly push down your pumpkin on top if you push it down a little bit hard as well you do get a little bit more drippy coming from on top of it as well so that's always a nice little touch Okay, so that is what the drippy looks like at the moment. It looks really messy and horrible at the moment because obviously it is just white and you can see it's just drip down glue. But what we're gonna do next is gonna transform it from drippy minging glue into leafage, I suppose. So I'm literally gonna take some green acrylic paint and I'm just gonna paint over all the glue parts. Make sure it is completely set before you try and do this because yeah, otherwise you're gonna make a massive mess. Trust me, I have learned the hard way. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna get a little bit of paper, a little bit of napkin, and I'm just gonna blob some paint. You don't need too much of this to be fair, so I'm just gonna blob some paint on my napkin. Like so. And then I'm just gonna literally go over all the glue. I'm not painting the pumpkin at all, so I wanna be very, very careful going up towards where the pumpkin and the glue kind of meet. So I just wanna fill all that in, but not 
actually pick the pumpkin. You may have to go over the glue a couple times with the paint because it doesn't cover perfectly well at first. You need to have a little bit more, um, maybe like a second layer or you know a good thick layer on top to get it to really cover up well and look like a wax seal. But you can do as many coats as you want. It's completely up to you and whatever works better for you. And then when it's all painted and dry, it should look a little something like this. And here we have it. So we have our very own pumpkin juice drink, potion bottle, display, whatever you want to call it. I think these look so, so cool. And this was so quick and easy to make. This probably would have only taken me maybe an hour, hour and a half at most to make. Had I not run out of glue earlier on, that was that added a lot of hours onto the making of this bottle, to be fair, because obviously I had the kids to deal with in between it all as well. So yeah, it's been absolute chaos this afternoon, evening, but hey ho, it is finished. And yeah, like I said, if I hadn't run out of glue, it really would have only taken me at most an hour and a half to make. So this is something that's really, really quick and easy to make. You can make it with your kids. You can make all different kinds of ones. I think this looks really, really awesome. And it's going to look amazing on my shelf with all my other potion bottles and other bits and bobs like that. So yeah, I have two pumpkin juice bottles. Like I said, one is going to Alas Earwax and the other one is staying with me. I think these look really, really cool. I think they're going to look absolutely amazing on my shelves. Just very quick before I go guys, I have mentioned my Patreon once or twice today, so if you are interested at all in joining me on Patreon, then please do check out the link in the description down below. There are lots of little perks and benefits to becoming a patron of mine. It means that I can keep this channel running and you're supporting me as well and it's just something that makes me super, super happy to have that little extra bit of support from you guys. But if you did like this video, then please, please give it a magical thumbs up for me so that I know. Don't forget if you haven't done already to click the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community and turn those notification bells on as well to be notified every time I upload a video and I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye, you guys.